So, Diana, you're Diana Shepherd and you're a local artist. Yeah, I'm based at Grove Lodge upstairs. Uh huh. <coughs> and how long, how long have you been one of the residential <coughs> artists here? So, I've been here for 10 years. Uh huh. And um, during that time, in exchange for rent, really, I work with Mick, the manager, to get artists in here. So, we have a um, a residency programme here which we're hoping to develop a lot more in the future after, yeah. after things are back to normal really. There's, there's been some lovely stuff here. I remember seeing the, the man who had, uh, goodness knows how he got them here, printing presses. Yeah. In, including um, homemade ones out of a mango. Yeah. Yeah. And huge drawings as well. They were great weren't they? They had really big drawings of trees. Yeah. So, I'll just explain what these are all about. Fantastic. So obviously the theme this year is hot air balloons. So the ones hanging from the ceiling are the ones that I've made. And they've all been made with strips of lining paper and sprayed and stenciled with leaves and branches. It was a bit of an upcycling job actually because I had I'd made lots for a wallpaper, but I oh. thought it was really appropriate for the oh, art meter. That's really nice. They're using leaves and birds and things like that. And this is because there was a hot air balloon at the very, on the day they... Yeah, I don't, yes. Yeah. I think it was the 16th of September that the hot air balloon was, was let off. <coughs> In the middle, the middle hot air balloons have all been made by our group all being well and that's a group that I set up in 2010 on the park and um, are these your Friday people? Yes yeah, so we used to have a group called Feel Good Fridays and during the lockdown what I did we delivered lots of materials to them with instructions so uh, some, some of the group made balloons to contribute to the exhibition oh, wow. which I thought was really nice. And is this one of Mick's, um, <coughs> Mick's trees that he made? Yes, Mick, I believe, cut that with a jigsaw and with his own hands. Yeah, these are really beautiful. So, um, because they're made out of quite, well, they're made out of paper, they are moving in the, uh, in the thermals, just like hot air balloons. So, Originally what I wanted was for these to be on a circular frame oh. so that they'd actually be spinning around when the wind blows. Like a mobile. Exactly, yeah. So I just, as you said, because you know, you think of hot air balloons as moving really serenely in the sky. And it was really nice when um, at one point I had a window open and they all started turning. Oh, wow. So I need to find a way to try to sort of make that happen with, with it not being a security risk as well, really. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, I, I couldn't do it on the circles because of um, sort of had to put it up myself, really. So. But they're definitely moving, so. Oh, they're really beautiful. Just twizzle somewhere. Just okay. Because I just, I just love to see them twizzling. Oh, but yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I think I need a whole other project to do this all again, having learned everything that I've done yeah. and doing it this yeah. time. Yeah. But I mean, it's such a lovely space to put artwork in. I mean, really, I, I think that my job as well is to sort of fill in the gaps between other new artists coming in and making artwork. So I painted the panels as well so that whenever we haven't got anyone in, it means the orange has always yeah, got yeah. something to look at as mm. people pass. Because we don't want it to look like an unused building, really. No, it's, it's definitely one of the nicer buildings in the park. Yeah, I mean it's, I know that um, Joseph Strutt's original intention was for this to, for there to be artwork on the park 
and for this to be an exhibition space as well. So what's really nice is that we're sort of, uh, you know, we're, we're actually sort fulfilling of, his original yes, wishes. Yeah, yeah, honouring it. Yeah, lovely. Oh, fantastic. So what's what's next after, after, I suppose none of us really know what's next, do we? Well, for me, because of lockdown, we've started um, a, an art delivery service. Oh. So the people that have been part of the All Being Well projects, we, um, we've just got fund, lottery funding for a six month sort of COVID emergency project, as it were. God, so that's so, brilliant. Yeah, so that the people who were part of our groups you know, still feel that we're all connected and, you know, so we deliver them, we're going to be delivering the materials and we're also going to be able to reach North Nottinghamshire, North Derbyshire as well. So, um... Oh, that's brilliant. And, and where is this, um, where is the information of this? Well, it's... At the moment, um, I have an All Being Well Facebook page. Right. So, any time we've got projects, or things happening, we promote it on there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've liked it, but it's one of those things yeah. that it, Facebook doesn't make it easy to remind you of no, things that no. you've liked. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the majority of the people that we involve in the project are people who have, who have or live with mental health problems. Yeah. Um, so what we tend to do is we partner up with the uh, mental health services, uh, Derby City, and as I said, we're going to be working with Chesterfield Mental Health Services as well, so we can deliver right up, um, right up Chesterfield way as well. So it's wonderful how um, pe people like you, and I suppose many other things also, have found a way to keep going. Keep, yeah, keep people. It's been really good because. The outcome of this delivery service is that instead of it stopping when everything's back to normal, it's another added thing that we're going to do because there's always people that um, don't really want to leave the house. There'll be people that yeah. still want to stay at home. So we've it, it, it's enhanced what we, it's 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 made it broader what we actually do. And we'll go back to doing workshops as well. Yeah. Um, so we sort of learn a lot during this time about how to yeah. still keep people connected to us. Fantastic. It's been lovely talking to you. And Diana. you. And uh, I'll see you soon. Yes, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.